Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today, we have an important topic to discuss, the diphtheria vaccine. Diphtheria is a potentially life-threatening bacterial infection. In this video, we will explore what diphtheria is, how the vaccine works, its effectiveness, and why it's crucial to get vaccinated. So, let's dive right in. What is diphtheria? Diphtheria is a serious bacterial infection caused by the bacterium Coronibacterium diphtheriae. It primarily affects the respiratory system, including the throat and tonsils, but can also affect the skin. Diphtheria is highly contagious and spreads through respiratory droplets from an infected person, such as through coughing or sneezing. Diphtheria infection produces a grayish-white membrane that forms in the throat, which can obstruct the airway and make breathing difficult. Diphtheria can also release toxins that affect other organs, leading to potentially severe complications, such as heart and neurological problems. Before the advent of vaccines, diphtheria was a major cause of illness and death, particularly among children. However, due to widespread vaccination programs, diphtheria has become rare in many parts of the world. What is diphtheria vaccine? The diphtheria vaccine is a preventive measure designed to protect individuals from diphtheria, a bacterial infection caused by Coronibacterium diphtheriae. The vaccine contains harmless form of the diphtheria toxin or inactivated toxin, which stimulates the immune system to produce protective antibodies. By receiving the vaccine, individuals develop immunity to the diphtheria toxin, reducing the risk of contracting the disease and its potential complications. The diphtheria vaccine is usually administered as part of a combination vaccine DTP, and is given via injection. It is a crucial tool in preventing diphtheria and maintaining public health. How Diphtheria Vaccine is Manufactured The diphtheria vaccine is manufactured using a complex process involving several steps. Here is a general overview of how the diphtheria vaccine is typically produced. Bacterial Cultivation The bacterium Coronibacterium diphtheriae, which produces the diphtheria toxin, is isolated and grown in a fermenter containing suitable liquid media. Strains of the bacterium are carefully selected for vaccine production. Toxin production. The isolated bacterium is cultured under controlled conditions to stimulate toxin production. The bacterium is grown in a nutrient-rich medium that encourages toxin formation. Toxin inactivation. To ensure the vaccine's safety, the diphtheria toxin is inactivated, usually by treating it with formaldehyde or other chemicals. This process renders the toxin unable to cause disease while preserving its ability to stimulate an immune response. Purification. The inactivated toxin is then purified to remove impurities and other components of the bacterial culture, leaving behind the desired components that will be used in the vaccine. Vaccine formulation. The purified, inactivated toxin, diphtheria toxoid, is combined with other necessary ingredients to create the final vaccine formulation. These ingredients may include adjuvants, stabilizers, preservatives, and other components to enhance the vaccine's effectiveness and stability. Quality control. The manufactured vaccine undergoes rigorous quality control testing to ensure its safety, potency, and purity. This includes testing for bacterial contaminants, toxin potency, sterility, and stability. Packaging and distribution. Once the vaccine passes the quality control tests regulatory approval, it is packaged and distributed to healthcare providers, clinics, and vaccination programs for administration to individuals. It's important to note that stringent regulatory guidelines and quality control measures are followed throughout the production process to ensure the safety and efficacy of the diphtheria vaccine. How Diphtheria Vaccine Work The diphtheria vaccine works by stimulating the immune system to produce protective antibodies against the diphtheria toxoid. Here's a step-by-step -step explanation of how the diphtheria vaccine functions. Introduction of the vaccine. The diphtheria vaccine is typically administered as an injection into the muscle, commonly in the upper arm or thigh. It contains harmless form of the diphtheria toxin or inactivated toxin or diphtheria toxoid. Recognition by the immune system. Once the vaccine is introduced into the body, the immune system recognizes the foreign components of the diphtheria toxoid as a potential threat. Activation of immune response. The immune system initiates an immune response by activating specific cells, called B cells, and T cells. These cells play crucial roles in the immune system's defense mechanisms. Antibody production. B cells are responsible for producing antibodies, which are specialized proteins that can recognize and neutralize specific foreign substances, such as the diphtheria toxoid. In response to the vaccine, B cells start producing diphtheria-specific antibodies, also known as antitoxins. 
Memory cell formation. Some B cells differentiate into memory cells, which remember the specific diphtheria toxoid components. These memory cells provide long-term immunity and can rapidly produce antibodies upon re-exposure to the diphtheria toxin in the future. Protection against diphtheria. If an individual who has received the diphtheria vaccine is later exposed to the actual diphtheria toxin, the pre-existing antibodies and memory cells quickly recognize and neutralize the toxin. This prevents the toxin from causing harm to the body and effectively protects against diphtheria. The diphtheria vaccine's effectiveness is primarily based on the ability of the immune system to produce specific antibodies that can bind to and neutralize the diphtheria toxin, toxoid. By inducing an immune response and creating a memory of the antigen, toxoid, the vaccine provides long-lasting protection against diphtheria and its potential complications. Who require diphtheria vaccination? Diphtheria vaccination is recommended for various groups of individuals, including infants and children. Diphtheria vaccination is an essential part of routine childhood immunization schedules. It is typically given as part of a combination vaccine called DTP, diphtheria, tetanus, and pertussis, or as DT, diphtheria and tetanus. The diphtheria vaccine is administered in a series of doses starting in infancy, usually at 2, 4, 6, and 15 to 18 months of age, with booster doses given during childhood. Adolescents and adults. Adolescents who haven't received a booster dose of diphtheria-containing vaccine are recommended to receive the Tdap, tetanus, diphtheria, and pertussis vaccine between the ages of 11 to 12 years. Tdap serves as a booster for both diphtheria and tetanus. Travelers. Individuals traveling to areas or countries where diphtheria is more prevalent or endemic may require diphtheria vaccination. It's essential to consult with healthcare providers or travel clinics to assess the need for vaccination based on the travel destination and individual circumstances. Healthcare workers. Healthcare workers, including doctors, nurses, and other medical staff, are often recommended to receive diphtheria vaccination to protect themselves and prevent the transmission of diphtheria to vulnerable patients. Immunization catch up. Individuals who have missed their routine childhood vaccinations or are not up to date with their diphtheria immunization may require catch-up vaccination. The specific vaccination schedule would depend on the individual's age, immunization history, and the recommendations of healthcare professionals. It's important to consult healthcare providers or follow national immunization guidelines to determine the appropriate diphtheria vaccination recommendations for specific age groups, risk factors, and individual circumstances. Is there any AEFI associated with diphtheria vaccination? AEFI stands for adverse events following immunization, and while vaccines are generally safe, they can occasionally be associated with certain adverse events. Regarding diphtheria vaccination, here are some potential AEFI that can occur. Injection site reactions. The most common AEFI after diphtheria vaccination are mild injection site reactions. These can include pain, redness, swelling, or tenderness at the injection site. These reactions are typically mild and resolve on their own within a few days. Fever. Some individuals may experience a low-grade fever as a temporary side effect of diphtheria vaccination. This is generally short-lived and resolves without complications. Allergic reactions. While rare, allergic reactions can occur following diphtheria vaccination. These reactions can range from mild, such as hives or itching, to severe, such as anaphylaxis. Immediate medical attention should be sought in the case of a severe allergic reaction. It's important to note that the overall occurrence of AEFI following diphtheria vaccination is very low and rare. Diphtheria vaccination is a life-saving treatment which prevent diphtheria and its complications. Conclusion. Diphtheria vaccine is a crucial tool in protecting ourselves and our communities from the devastating effects of diphtheria. By ensuring that we and our loved ones are up to date on our vaccinations, we can significantly reduce the risk of this potentially life-threatening disease. That's it for today's video. We hope you found this information valuable and in that it encourages you to prioritize your health and the health of those around you. Remember, vaccination is a powerful way to protect ourselves and our communities. Stay safe and see you in the next video.